Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So this is going to be again a very short video. I'm still traveling in Germany. I will be heading towards Switzerland back home tomorrow. So today is going to be just a quick update on the Bitcoin price. So let's start here in the one hour time frame because currently we are seeing fantastic moves in some altcoins but also in Bitcoin we are seeing a nice healthy move here to the upside after breaking here this falling wedge. Currently we are coming very close to our previous support this red line which now could be acting as a resistance and right now this price level is up here at around $12,300. So it is possible that we are on the way to retest here this uh, old support which now could be new resistance but I think there is also some chances that we could even break through and retest here the main resistance from this old rising wedge here at around $12,800 right now. Why I think we could go up there because currently we are seeing that Ethereum is performing really great. We had a big surge here. We even broke here this old resistance line and currently we are coming up to this uh, old resistance that we had from this rising wedge here before we broke out here to the downside below $400. So currently we're seeing a nice move here on Ethereum and we came very close to the $500 target. The thing is that if Ethereum was able to reach these levels, I think it is very likely that also Bitcoin could reach here these highs that we had. So let's see if we're able to push through here right now or if Bitcoin is going to come down maybe to retest this $11,000 which previously now during this falling wedge acted as a resistance and right now could be a new support. So in the one hour currently after topping here out at $12,000 we're seeing a little correction. You see that the RSI was overbought and currently we're retracing back to the 50 level. The RSI currently is trading below the 50 level which is a bit a bearish sign but as you can see as soon as we drop below the 50 the price immediately comes back up again. So let's see in the next couple of hours if we're able to push through again above $12,000 or not. Currently here the one hour is looking like that we're bottoming out again and we're gearing up for another big move to the upside potentially to retest this $12,000 level. The problem is only that the MACD here still shifted to the downside so we still have some room left to the downside. Stochastic is looking like it's getting into oversold condition and also here it looks like we could have a bounce to the upside coming up pretty soon. Now if we go over into the 4 hour time frame here you can see that we're trading above all the moving averages which is a very bullish sign and we should have here now the 20 moving average at 11,770 acting as a support. So in theory we should see here a big bounce to the upside here towards this $12,300 resistance potentially even go higher if the 20 now is acting as a support. RSI is still here in very close overbought condition. We still have some room left to the upside but overall this is looking quite good. My indicator is still giving out sell signals so this is still saying that we are a bit toppy and we could see a possible correction down. If we switch over into the CME chart you can see that only by now the indicator is showing that we have overbought condition and we could have here a possible dump but as I told you currently we are seeing this nice breakout to the upside and since also some altcoins are performing very well there is a very high chance that we could also see a continuation of this move to the upside. And if we open up here the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour you can see that after overshooting it to the upside currently we are seeing a healthy retracement back down to the middle line. We have now the MACD which is a bit toppy and we could see a possible correction to the downside if here we are gonna have a bearish cross. Stochastic is already shifted to the downside but also here even if we would lose here this $11,750 if we drop down the $11,500 should hold as a support. Because we have now the confirmation that 11,500 is again support and in theory even if we drop down there these levels should be now acting again as a support and not anymore as a resistance since we are trading again now above $11,500 and also if we open up the daily time frame you can see that we are clearly trading now above the 20 daily moving average and we still have a lot of room left to the upside. Also if we have a look into the RSI you can see that currently we are breaking out of this falling wedge. 
So this pattern is playing out currently and this could be just the beginning of a big move to the upside. So if today we're coming down, then watch out here for this 11,630 level, the 20 daily moving average. If we're coming down to retest it and then bounce again to the upside. But in my opinion, if you're on the way towards this $12,800 up here, like on Ethereum, then most likely we're going to see in the next couple of days here a big move towards this direction unless of course we're gonna have a big dump here also below eleven thousand six hundred dollar and closer daily below this moving average then i think we could see a major correction to the downside but so far this falling wedge is playing out and the target is at least up here twelve thousand seven hundred maybe even up to twelve thousand eight hundred dollar and if we switch over into the bollinger band in the daily here also you can see that right now we're trading again in the upper area so also here we have some room left to the upside even here towards twelve thousand one hundred eighty dollars so it is still very likely that we could go up there to retest this level and even if we would drop then watch out for these two moving averages here between eleven thousand seven hundred and eleven thousand six hundred dollar so eleven thousand six hundred dollars still in the cards if you want to open up a long position here on bybit or femex for example it's not a bad idea since the target could be even higher right now since we are breaking here important resistance lines and also ethereum is already testing this uh, old resistance as you can see here in the daily old on ethereum we had a complete retracement back up here towards the resistance that we had also here in the past and we can also have a look quickly into the macd in the daily because here currently we could have a bullish cross coming up pretty soon if we can maintain the price above eleven thousand seven hundred dollar stochastic is already shifted to the upside so here also if we see a retracement back down even towards eleven thousand 730 maybe this could be a good long opportunity if you think we're gonna break through 12k and potentially go up towards 12,800 dollar which is still in the cards and very likely since we are trading now again above the 20 daily moving average and now let's go over to the weekly because here we are still looking a bit toppy here in the rsi we are still trading above all the moving averages so even if we come down to the 20 weekly moving average at 10,200, we will remain on our bullish way to the upside bitcoin is still looking very bullish and if we go over into the bollinger band you can see that we're still trading in the upper area so we could have a possible retracement back down to the moving averages but so far we're still trading in the upper area so still on the bullish side and the momentum is still shifted to the upside for sure but as i told you a correction even down towards nine thousand six hundred dollars is at any time possible even though we are pointing out here to move higher towards twelve thousand eight hundred and maybe even higher macd is still shifted to the upside so this is very bullish here only the stochastic has a little correction after being overbought but so far everything is good to go to the upside so let's see what will happen in the next couple of hours and tomorrow today i will be traveling through all germany so i can only be back into my office uh, tomorrow where i can do the regular videos all right guys and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up if you like the content please moon up the like subscribe to the channel if you need any trading exchange over on bybit or femex or bityard use the links that you find down below here currently you can get up to 538 dollars in bonus and of course you support the channel so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye